What is up, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Kingdom Rush, the series that I will be doing on my channel. Um, yeah, this is a tower defense game, if you don't know, and there's a, there's a storyline behind it, a uh, campaign as you go through it. Um, well, let's just get right into it. So, as you can see, I have a... Uh, my own private one there. We'll start a new one for this. Here we go. Alrighty. Now, since I've been playing for a little bit, I'm going to choose normal difficulty. Um, as you can see here, this is the map where you select the levels. Um, I'll explain the other stuff down here once we get through the first level. Um, so, as you can see, it says start here. So, let's click that and start there. Um, so it says select play mode here, so I can select the play mode here, uh, select the difficulty, and then start the round, start the level. Um, so I can change the difficulty, so I don't, I'm not stuck on normal difficulty. Um, then there's campaign, so I will read that to you. Greetings, noble warrior. As a general of his majesty's forces, King Dennis requires your services. The inhabitants of the city of Southport have reported attacks by highwaymen and other outlaws. You are to take a battalion to Southport and bolster the town's defenses. Good luck, General. And let's get started with this. Alrighty, here are the instructions to the game. Uh, objective, protect your lands from the enemy attacks. Build the fence towers along the road to stop them. Uh, as you can see in the description, don't let enemies pass that point on the map. So there's that circle with a shield in the middle. Um, you earn gold by killing enemies. Build towers to defend the road. Next instruction, uh, tower construction. That is building towers. Build towers on strategic points to stop the enemy hordes from getting through. Uh, as you see, there's the sign with the little hammer in it. You click on it. Then you can purchase a tower. Each one, the number, the amount of gold that caught that it costs is underneath the, it. Uh, then you have the purchasing the tower it pops up there. That would be the archer tower. Uh, here is the base tower types. Uh, you got arch, archer, barracks, mages guild, and the artillery. Uh, as you can see underneath them, what each one does. The archer tower is a good rate of fire. The soldiers barracks, uh, soldiers block enemies. The mages guild has high damage and armor piercing. And the artillery deals area of a damage. And now it says, got it, I'm ready, now bring it on. So, as you can see here, it's giving you a little bit more instructions. So, build here. I'm going to put a militia here. And I'm going to put my an archer here and a mage here. Now, it's going to describe to you this button, but this is the rally point button. Um, so I can choose where I put my troops, uh, that blue flag there. Now, you can click on this once to determine what is going to be incoming. So right now, I have three goblins that are incoming. Then I click it again, and that sends the wave. Now you get these tooltips over to the left, as you can see, right under the wave count. And this says, new enemy, goblin, small evil humanoids with no outstanding abilities, low health, average speed. So that gives you little tooltips on the enemies. I got an achievement there, first blood, kill my first enemy. Um, I might as well send that since I can send waves early, and that gives me, as you saw, extra cash. Uh, for the waves, uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, um, money can be used to upgrade your towers, but in the first couple of, uh, first level, you only have level one towers, as indicated by the lock there, so I'm going to send this horde here, goblins, um, call in reinforcements. You can summon troops to help you on the battlefield. Reinforcements are free, and you call them every 10 seconds. So this is a special power. Down in the bottom left corner, you will see 
the powers I have here. So I can click this and I can only place them on a route as indicated as you can see from the X that the, that I was trying to do by putting it on the other, on, not on the road. Um, upper left corner is just the amount of lives, the gold you have, and then the wave count. Uh, yeah, oh, here, let's send this. Alright, looks like we're getting a new enemy here, the orc. So we should, uh, let's see, should be getting a tooltip here. Here we go. Orc, new enemy. Tough savages with light armor. And then it gives you a description, like a breakdown. So they have light armor and slow speed. Um, there's some Easter eggs in here. And just some little cool hidden features. Um, I think I can take that orc and send this wave. Uh, so like, as you can see, I can stop the windmills. Oh, here's a tip. Now this is a tip. Uh, it says, armored enemies. Some enemies wear armor of different strength that protect them against non-magical attacks. Armored enemies take less damage from marksmen, soldiers, and artilleries. Um, there's another feature. You can pop a sheep like a balloon if you tap it enough <laughs> like that. Um, oh, and you can zoom in. So you could zoom in on all the glory of just popping the sheep. Uh, or you could zoom in on your troops. I usually like to keep it out just so I can survey the whole battlefield. I think we can take those guys. Oh, I'd recall some reinforcements there. Um, new tip. Command your troops. You can adjust your soldiers' rally point to make them to defend a different area. I kind of described that earlier, but now you can see in full detail that blue thing there. And then you click and it will move your soldiers to that rally point. Now I do not think that you can put them now. You can't, you have to put them on the road. So, yeah, as you saw, I had to put down the reinforcements there because I was getting a little overwhelmed. Um, let's see. Um, ooh. Uh-oh. This is not good. Uh, put a wizard tower here. Uh-oh. Let's put this guy here. Um, we can summon this guy. Ooh, new special power. Rain of fire. Blast your enemies with fire from the skies. Rain of fire is best saved for an emergency or a great opportunity since it has a very long cooldown. So this is another special power in the bottom left corner that you can unlock. Um, as it said, it's good for larger groups of enemies. So, as you can see here, I have a large group, so why not just rain meteors on top of their heads? So yeah, that's what I just did. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, they're doing good there. That was the seventh wave. So, oh, I got another achievement called Fearless. I uh, will explain some of that later after I'm done here. So I got three stars, and I got 71 gems, as indicated by that little elf guy. Um, hmm. So, the star system allows you to buy upgrades. Um, use the earned stars to improve your towers and powers. So usually I like to go for my powers first. So in this upgrade, it allows me to get Blazing Skies, which adds two meteors and increases my meteor damage. So I'm going to buy that. And then this, uh, then I got Marksman, uh, I can salvage my Marksman for more money, uh, get my Barak Soldiers to have more health, increase my Wizard's range, or increase my art Artillery Attack Damage. I cannot do well fed, because as you can see in the about upper right corner, a little bit off center, off the corner, uh, I only have one star. So I think I'm going to spend that, and I'm going to spend that on Toughness Training, so that my barracks can hold off the troops for my towers to deal more damage to them. Um, the gems are used for the shop here. Use gems to buy, gather out gems by playing the game. Use gems to buy special items. So you can buy heart box, uh, gain five extra lives. This will freeze enemies helpless in their place for a while. Uh, this one's the dynamite. Uh, Blast your enemies to pieces with these special design gnome explosives. Uh, you got Fat Boy, Big Bad Boy of Bombs. 
you only need one of these to clear the battlefield. As you can see, they're pretty freaking expensive. That guy's pretty expensive. Um, leave nothing to chance. Bring extra gold to the battlefield. So each bag is worth 500 gold pieces. Uh, so the magic in this rod will freeze all baddies and prevent new ones from approaching. Uh, so that freezes everybody on screen. This one just freezes like a certain area. Uh, I try not to use those because I, I don't, not that they're cheaty. I just feel like if you can't win without them, you're not good enough. <laughs> um, then you got your upgrades here that I was showing you for all your different towers and powers, as it said. You got your encyclopedia here, which gives you your tips on all your discovered towers and your enemies. There are only four basics, so there's the archer, the barracks, the mages guild, and the artillery, and the columns will be the upgrades that you unlock during the game. Then you got your enemies, as I flashed for a second there. Um, so far I've only discovered goblins and orcs. As you can see in the bottom right of the pit, or the bottom half of the right page, you can see that there is their stat, their stats there. Uh, I can go to tips and look at all the different tips I have here. Um, nothing too particular. I'll usually get those in game. Strategy guide takes you to a web page, which I try to use the, without the study guide. This the strategy guide, which I I have played without the strategy guide so far. Um. Let's see, uh, I think we got time for one more. Oh yeah, achievements, here. Uh, so we got all the different achievements, there is a lot. So here's Fearless, call all wave early on, in a single mission. And we got the first blood, which was kill one enemy. So then we'll go to here, and we will... The outskirts, camp paid. Good job, diligent investigations have revealed that it was not mere... Brigands to terrorizing Southport, but organized bands of goblinoids. Now their forward troops are creeping towards the rural communities north of Southport. We must establish an efficient and swift defense. So there we go. We'll start the round here. Oh, awesome. New tower upgrades. Level 2 towers are available. You can now upgrade your towers to level 2. Awesome. So, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to put... I'm going to put my... Uh, guys there. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to save for a, a mage tower over here. So, let's see. Yeah. Um, I'll put them there. For right now. Ooh, another tip. New tip. Strategy basics. Barracks are good for blocking the enemy in, but lack in attack power. Make sure to have enough firepower to support them. So as you can see, I kind of did that strategy already. I mean, I played this before, so that was always my strategy, but I can see where, you can see where I got that strategy from. Um, as it says here, support your soldiers with ranks and towers. <sighs> so now I'm just waiting for them to... Uh, kill the goblins, get enough gold so that we can get this wizard tower in here and swap over my, uh, here we go, swap over these guys over to here. Now they have more support as the tooltip was saying earlier. And as you can see, I can upgrade them, but they do cost gold. The upgrades cost gold. So this one costs 110 and so does this one. This one costs 160. Uh, but yeah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like in the, leave a like on the video, uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying this so far, hope you guys enjoy the series, uh, as we, as I play through this more, uh, I think I'm going to upgrade this archer tower, ooh, oh, I called it early, boom, caught it in time, I didn't get very much from it, I only got a dollar, but, dollar in my pocket. Not $20 in my pocket. Just a dollar in my pocket. Pop these sheep here. They don't deserve to live. Now, if you call the waves early, you can get... 
a uh, your abilities recharge faster. So these are wolves, and as you see, I got a new tip, new enemy. Wolves, very fast, vicious creatures that can dodge melee attacks. Can dodge melee attacks, they have low health, but they are very fast. And you will see that as they run through the, uh, <laughs> as they run through the map here. They are pretty darn fast and hard to keep up with. Uh, what's next? Orcs and goblins. Okay. Let's send this. Call ten waves early. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll put these guys down here to the, to get rid of him. Oh, come on, weaklings. Oh, I had to build the tower there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, pff, only took one arrow to get him out of there anyway. Uh, okay. So, what do we got next? We got orcs, wolves, and goblins. Nothing new. Let's just smite them all with the fiery power of meteors. Oh, and the wave sent early before I could send it early. I don't tend to send them too early because I want to make sure that I do have a support. Like, I want to make sure that I'm able to defeat the people that are already on the map. On the... Uh, roads before I send a new wave so yeah uh, let's put some support down here uh, let's see can I sell this how much do I get 42 uh, not really worth it so some wolves orcs and lots of goblins geez uh, I think I'm gonna send that early though Oh, I'm kind of glad that I didn't sell that, because I was very tempted to. Well, just to upgrade my other towers. Let's see, upgrade that one. There we go, get rid of that. Uh, we are on wave 7 of 7, so let's hit the orcs where it hurts. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Add some support in here, get some more damage going around. Yeah. Hold that guy because he's weak to magic. Uh, oh, zoomed in just a little bit. Oh, there we go. No lives lost. Victory. Got another three stars. We'll go back, we'll spend them, and then I will see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, not yet. <laughs> I just acted like I ended the video. Ooh, scorched earth. Set the ground on fire for se five seconds. That's a good one. Uh, and let's increase the wizard's attack range. Alrighty, well, that'll do it for today. Um, the achievement that I got was daring, which was called 10 Waves Early. Um, Encyclopedia Enemies, I got the wolf, <laughs> spelled... Uh, I don't know which kind of spelling that is, if that's the English or if that's just because they wanted to. But I will see you in the next episode.